Harish and Subash were bosom friends. Once they decided to go on a tour, they took a horse cart and started their journey. They kept moving all day long. On their way, in the evening, they decided to look for a proper place to stay for the night. Meanwhile, it started raining heavily with thunder and lightning. In the flash of lightning, they saw ruins of an old building. They decided to take shelter in the ruins. The weather was not good. There was storm and heavy rains. The old building looked very weak. A part of the roof fell on the ground. Due to heavy rain and strong winds, they saw a brass pot in the debris lying on the ground. They rushed there and picked up the pot. They were immensely surprised to see the pot, full of gold jewelry and silver coins. They could not believe their eyes. They decided that they would divide the gold and silver equally between themselves after their return from the journey. Next morning, the rain stopped. They started their journey but finished it quickly, as they were more interested in wealth. Which they had found in the ruins of the old building. They fixed time to distribute the wealth among themselves. The next day in the afternoon. The next day, Harish reached the ruins before the noon. Just after seeing the wealth, he was filled with dishonesty toward Subash. He took out all the wealth from the pot and hid it in a pit. Thereafter, he filled the pot with mud and put it at the same place. After some time, Subash also came there, and seeing Harish there, he said. It appears that you are very excited for your share of wealth. That is why you have come here early. Harish said, "You are right. I am really very excited to think what I will do with so much of wealth." Subash said, "Let us first divide the wealth." Then we will decide what we will do with it. They went to the pot. They were shocked to see that there was mud in the pot instead of gold jewelry and silver coins. Harish started weeping and said, "Alas!" It is our bad luck that gold has changed into mud. Now we are left with nothing. Subash condoled Harish, saying, "Do not bother. The wealth was not ours. Luckily, we got the wealth, and luck itself has snatched it from us." Subash knew that Harish was just camouflaging, and that he had taken all the wealth. Subash did not say anything to Harish, and both went back to their houses. Next day, Harish went to the ruins and brought all the wealth to his house. 
He started living in luxuries. One day he decided to go on a pilgrimage with his wife. He had two children. He requested Subash to keep his children at his home. Subash agreed. On their return from the pilgrimage, Harish asked Subash to send the children back. Subash said nothing but brought two monkeys and said, Here are your children. Take them. Harish was amazingly shocked and could not speak even a single word. Subash continued to say, Do not be surprised. Actually your children have turned into monkeys. Harish cried furiously. How can men turn into monkeys? Subash smiled and said, When gold and silver can be changed into clay and mud, why cannot children be changed to monkeys? It is all luck. Hearing the words of Subash, Harish almost lost his consciousness. He had clearly understood what Subash wanted to say. He went to his home just then and brought the share of his friend Subash. Subash, in turn, returned Harisha's children. They became good friends again. Moral We should never cheat others.